We've just come back from the USA. We had a very good trip. Matter of fact, we had a brilliant trip. Uh, we met with a few senators and a number of victims groups from all over the states, especially the Pan Am people and the 9-11 people, and also victims from Libya who are being persecuted by Karen Gaddafi. It's just unbelievable some of the things that man's doing to his own people. But putting that to the side, we had a very successful trip. We even met up with the, the Airborne uh, group at one of the senators they were in and they wanted to get their photographs taken with us um, whenever they heard where we were from. They were very supportive and they can do for us, even offered to drop in any time if we ever needed them. Uh, we said we could deal with the provies ourselves if we ever had the chance or were allowed to do it. But I don't know, that's another story. Um, some of the things that came to light about what's been going on out in America. We watched, we got into the Bill Clinton conference and we watched Martin McGuinness and them sitting, giggling and laughing as if what happened over here in this last 35 years was some type of game and they're some type of statesmen. They're terrorists, they're murderers. But thank God the American people we spoke to knew that and said they were disgusted to see them in their country. Matter of fact, most of them are saying they shouldn't be allowed in to their country, which is encouraging, given that a few years ago uh, people didn't understand or realise what was going on here in Northern Ireland. So we are making it inroads. They now understand that the IRA are terrorists. Most of the people we spoke to, I know, and some of the senators that we did get speaking to agreed with us that uh, there is no difference between the IRA and Al Qaeda. And thank God they're starting to realise that. It's unfortunate it took 9-11 to bring that home to them, but it has brought it home to them. But some of the things that happened while we were away, somebody put a question down in the Hankers the House of Lords about how many times the bomb squad had been called out in Northern Ireland over the last two years. Well, you might think, well, maybe 20 or 30 times. 750 times the bomb squad has been out on our streets in Northern Ireland and on our roads. Something that has been kept and hid from us. So whenever they say there's peace in Northern Ireland, why are they not telling lies? 750 times the bomb squad was called out. Never mind the shootings, the riots, the patrol bombs. You know, it's just unbelievable the hidden secret war that's going on in Northern Ireland. That's hidden from the public in the mainland and the rest of the world. Well, now finally the message is getting out. And the other message that's getting out is to the people in other parts of the world, about Sinn Féin IRA, about the sort of dirt they are, that they killed so many of their own people. People didn't, in America didn't realise that. They thought it was only British Army or a British police force that was brought in from England that they were killing. They're now starting to learn the difference. The media interviews we done out there was brilliant. The coverage we got was brilliant. Uh, we were on CNN, Sky, ATV National, BBC World News. So at long last, the victim's story is starting to get out. And Gaddafi, I now, re I now believe, realises that he is going to have to come up to the mark. And it'll actually benefit him as well as benefiting the victims that he created. And also the IRA, we will be in a position to expose all that the IRA was involved in. All the different terrorist organisations they work with around the world. All the terrorist organisations that are anti-American. I'll say that again. The IRA and that smart and beginners, Jerry Adams, people like that there, they have trained and helped arm and finance other terrorist organisations who are all anti-American. So perhaps, what I know is no perhaps in it, the American people are now waking up to what's going on. We certainly made quite a few of them aware on this trip. So much so we've been invited back to speak at universities and uh, to meet another number of senators. The invites we got was just, I don't know where we start. 
Um, it would take us probably three months to do a tour of all the places we've been asked to speak at. But our main objective out there was to do with Libya and the IRA. We achieved it. As a matter of fact, I would say we more than achieved it. But we're not finished. We're now only starting. People have said to us about Colonel Gaddafi, what about the IRA? Well, what I'm saying to you is, what's this spot? The IRA have not got away with more than our loved ones. And I would like to praise the women, especially the older women, who are putting their hand in their pockets and help paying for these trips. Some of them are in their 70s and 80s years of age. It's a total disgrace. They will put the younger generation to shame. They talk about loyalty. They want to come and listen to the 70 and 80 year olds within the victims' organisations. Do you see what loyalty is all about? And I mean loyalty to your country and loyalty to what is right and what is wrong. Never again will the victims not have a voice that we can guarantee you.